be honest, I forgot what I was doing. Oh yeah, I got, uh, what's his name out of there? Governor's Mansion. Carla. Guy brush three wood. Hello, Swordmaster. Prepare to taste my blade, you washed up hack. Anything but your cooking. <laughs> Low hanging fruit, but it works. It's nice to see you again. You too. <laughs> You should never have given up being Swordmaster. Who says I did? Oh, sorry, I just assumed. Governor seems like a full-time job. It is, but there's room for overlap if you're creative about it. I heard from your wife. She's coming by to talk about scurvy legislation. I assume you're involved with that somehow? Oh. Eh, Lane can handle it. She doesn't need me. I don't doubt that, but it isn't about what she does or doesn't need. If it isn't about the scurvy project, why are you here? Elaine says Captain Madison is hurting her scurvy project. Not the legislative part, just the public funding. The town was in a bind a while back, and that so-and-so Captain Madison saw an opportunity. She lent us the cash we needed, but now we're up a creek paying the interest. Things like social programs, waste management, and town maintenance are all on the back burner. I like that woman less every minute. You and me both. I'm looking for the secret of Monkey Island. Good for you. I don't have it. Didn't say you did. Well, the mansion hasn't changed much. Elaine's style is still everywhere. Even the books are hers. They're my books now, as you well know. I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. Practice is nice, but I'm busy these days. Governor stuff. The blurb says it's a solid, if somewhat predictable story about a roguish pirate and a doomed romance with a woman of station. Note to the reader. No disguised secrets are revealed in this book. It's thicker than I would have imagined. It's a cookbook. It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty. Does not include Secret of Monkey Island. Oh. I tried to read that once, but I couldn't finish it. Warning, do not try these tricks at home. <clears throat> I like your stuffed, I uh, guess it's a dog? Please, take that and throw it away. It was a gift from the Earl of Thickwater, who is a contemptible pig. It's a lot of work being governor. Stay out of my bedroom, Threepwood. I've seen that same painting on a box of frozen instant cereal. Elaine told me that's Lauder Neckbeard, second governor of Melee Island. His overly strict morals and overly lax regulatory policies helped make the island what it is today. I've always thought this looked like my old ship, the Sea Monkey. <sighs> Edgy. <laughs> Ugh, looks like Carla wasn't too keen on getting her portrait done. Nothing I can do here yet. Let's go and explore the island. Wow, that's worse than I imagined. It says, Tan's previously owned vessels. So sad. 
stands used to be the best place to buy used chips. The assets of this establishment have been seized to settle a class action lawsuit. Have a nice day. The window's all boarded up, and it's very dark in there. Is that an old toothbrush? <laughs> Look if we got anything. I don't want to wreck my brand new shiny knife. It always looks bigger on this side of the island. I remember when these torches lit up Stan's previously owned vessels like a carnival. There was a time when every mooring would be filled with one of Stan's used ships. It's a dried up old sea sponge. It's bone dry. I guess Stan hasn't washed a ship in a while. Stan used this to clean his ships. It's all rusted out now. Stan used this to clean his ships. It's all rusted out now. That's where the thingy was. This used to be such a bright, cheery place. There's not a lot I can do there at the moment. Um... Love these when I was six. Museum of Pirate Lore. I used to love these when I was six. Until I got trapped in one for two days. Once upon a time, I won a t-shirt right here on the front lawn. <laughs> Hi there. Welcome to the Melee Island Museum of Pirate Lore. I'm Conrad, the curator and docent here. I also edit the Pirate Times newsletter. Here, take my business card. Uh, thanks? The museum showcases the largest collection of pirate memorabilia in the Caribbean. Or on Melee Island at the very least. The provenance of each item has been very carefully researched and fact-checked by myself and my team. Feel free to explore. And if you have any questions, just ask. <clears throat> What's the story with the wanted poster? That is the earliest known wanted poster for Captain Kate Capsize. You can tell how notorious she was by the huge number of crimes listed there. Very uh, impressive. I got it from a collector on Fat Island. Those are my own crimes, actually. I was pretty much public enemy number one on Fat Island at the time. I stuck Kate's picture on there so she'd get thrown in jail. <laughs> that would never work. Nobody's that clueless in real life. You don't believe me? It's not a question of belief. Never mind. It's not important. What was this cinder you've got on the wall? Oh, that. Yeah, that was an unsent love letter written by Elaine Marley while she was governor of the island. What? Elaine? The recipient was referred to only as Plunder Bunny. That's me! It was a really touching letter. Unfortunately, I put the candle too close to it. What did it say? Tell me what she said. Oh, you know, love letter stuff. Honestly, I don't remember a word of it, but it was touching. Thanks a lot. Tell me about this hunk of wood. That's an original plank from the Golden Hind, autographed by Francis Drake himself. Uh, excuse me. Is this a left hook or a right hook? That once belonged to the dread pirate Meat Hook. Supposedly he was ambidextrous. Also, he used to live right here on Melee. That's a nice coffin. The one with the ore. Yeah, the coffin had a lot of water damage when I got it from the voodoo lady in town. But I managed to restore it. It was used by a certain well-known captain in a daring escape from a Turkish prison. Uh, the water damage is actually from the swamp on Scab Island. Mm, <laughs> unlikely. The prison in question is nowhere near Scab Island. I'm just trying to help. Thanks. I've got it under control. What's the significance of the peg leg? That belonged to the infamous peg leg Patty. She used to hide a spare cutlass in it, in case of capture. Sadly, that's the reason she's no longer with us. That is a really big parrot. 
I wonder how many hands it's eaten. What do you feed it? Thieves, mostly. Good to know. What's this melted lump of metal? It used to be a mug. It was melted by some kind of acid. It was found in the Melee Jail many years ago, after an incident where like 20 pirates escaped. <laughs> hey, I did that. I had to keep pouring the grog from mug to mug because it was melting them. I had an armload of mugs and I juggled them all the way from the scum bar to the jail. Also, I could get Otis to join my crew. Not my greatest decision in retrospect. That's a pretty wild story. I'm telling you the truth. I'm sure you are, but it just doesn't quite square with the official record. So it's hard to substantiate. Substantiate? You've got an eyewitness. Eyewitnesses are notoriously inaccurate. Human memory is plastic and suggestible. Not yours, apparently. <laughs> no, of course not. I deal in facts. That map looks familiar. That's one quarter of the original map to the treasure of Big Whoop. I got it from the cartographer on Low Street. Apparently, he was somehow involved in the search for Big Whoop. About all Wally managed to do was get kidnapped by LeChuck's henchmen. That's not the way he tells it. You should think about hiring a research assistant. Oh, I did. Unpaid, of course. Intern. How on earth do you have that note? Oh, yeah. That's very interesting. That was found tucked inside of a book at the Fat Island Library. It's the actual note left by the ghost pirate the Chuck when he kidnapped Governor Marley. I know what it is. The lookout handed it to me just before I finished my three trials. Uh, I was crushed, but undaunted. I gathered a crew and I sailed to Monkey Island to save her. Not that she needed it, as it turned out. Wow, man, you're really into this. I've got a role-playing group on Thursday nights. This is absurd. It's like this whole wall is stuff from my personal adventures, but somehow I'm not even mentioned in your stories. That's what's so great about this museum. Everyone makes their own connections with the exhibits, and it's highly personal and different for everyone. That's not what I'm trying to say at all. That's okay. You don't need to say anything. Just listen to what the exhibits tell you. Fine. Eyepatch worn by Captain John Laney, the Pirate of a Thousand Faces. There's some very tiny writing on it. I'm not going to look for it. Well, the numbers are a little clearer, but still too tiny to read. <clears throat> what can you tell me about this eye patch? That's the pride of the collection. It belonged to Captain John Laney, the pirate of a thousand faces. Supposedly, it had voodoo powers that would disguise him. I tried it on, though, and nothing happened. The display case is locked. I don't know if there's anything. Why do you have this big gear? It's from the melee clock tower. Stolen during a pirate raid nearly 75 years ago. It was recently found at an inn on St. Martin, where it was being used to mill corn. I traded some old furniture for it that we had in the back room. Has anyone thought about putting it back in the clock? Nah. If the clock started working, it would only confuse people. It's cracker mix. Some assembly required. Well, that's anything that well, that was kind of redundant. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. No kidding? Wow! Are you named after Guybrush Threepwood? Uh, I guess you could say that. Nice. <coughs> I'm going to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. Oh, that's excellent! Super retro! If you need a place to display it, I know a convenient museum. Your museum is quaint. Thanks. It's been a personal passion of mine. I'm nuts about old-timey pirate stuff. Old-timey? Being around it really makes you feel like you're a part of something. Doesn't it? I am part of something. Exactly. What is going on with this headset? Are any of these things valuable? The security parrot isn't just here to look piratey. John Laney's eye patch is irreplaceable. It's the highlight of the collection. Amazingly, I got it at a yard sale. They didn't know what they had. Tell me about that newsletter of yours. The Pirate Times. We publish pirate news, pirate stories, pirate poetry, all things piratey, really. 
I see you wear a peg leg, despite having both of your original legs. <laughs> Just part of the docent's outfit, for the tourists. Kids always want to try it on. That's charming and creepy at the same time. This is a museum for people who think attacking ships and murdering the crew for profit sounds fun. Touche. I'll have a look around. Please do. Especially fortified for the healthy parrot diet. It's soft and extra fuzzy. It's good for relieving stress. Pirate Times, editor Conrad Lee, ready to publish your unrecognized genius. Still on balance, what is going on? That was being a bit. Warning. The dark forest ahead is deadly and twisty. Maps are highly recommended. I'm just doing it again. Oh, there you go. I'll fix it. Ah. Ooh, purple flowers. These must be catmint. I'm hopelessly lost without a map. Um, now what? Um, of Monkey Island. Good for you. Nah, I can't touch any of these. Hi. Are you my waiter? I want the excellent dish I had at the governor's mansion last week. I I don't know what it's called, but it was sort of, you know, a hot food. Yeah, but I'm not. It had ingredients in it or something. <sighs> I'm not your waiter. I already <laughs> told your incompetent cook this, but he still hasn't brought me my dinner. I don't work here. I'm not a waiter. Up to it! Uh, right away, sir. Are you sure I can't persuade you to back my expedition to Monkey Island? Let's pretend I was really considering this. What sort of pirate qualifications have you got, exactly? I defeated the ghost pirate LeChuck several times. Super ironic that sailing with him is the only way you're getting to Monkey Island. Well, I was a director of combat operations for the British Navy, and I've written two books on ship-to-ship -ship tactics. I am a founding member and co-director of the Red Fleet and hold records for civilian casualties from San Domingo to Venezuela. I'm an expert in 17 forms of hand-to-hand -hand combat, three of which I invented. I served with Bellamy, Teach, and Roberts before they each met an untimely end that I might have had nothing to do with. Just so you know, this is the kind of resume we expect. Oh. oh you look like the health inspector tasted your stew. Or you did. Worse, Marlin Marlin is here. Who? The customer I have nightmares about. He's the only importer of yak fat on the island, so I need to keep him happy, but he makes that impossible. Today he wants me to make him a dish that he ate last week at some kind of event at the governor's mansion. But of course he doesn't remember what it's called or know what's in it or even remember what color it was. He says he thinks it has ingredients in it. I don't have the slightest idea what to make. 
if I brought you a recipe, could you make it? Of course. I'm a cook. See the hat? Ooh, where did he say he had the dish he wants you to make? At the governor's mansion. It's probably some exotic, weird-tasting thing from a swanky cookbook. I'll see what I can find out. Thanks. There was a cookbook in the mansion. I don't know, I gotta go grab it. Whoops. It's a cookbook. It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty. Can I borrow a book? You've got a lot of nerve asking that. You never brought back the last book you borrowed. I had to buy another copy. You never even apologize. Yeah. I'll pay for it. I don't need your money. Oh. This is for you. You're giving me a frog? It's a forgiveness frog. For when words aren't enough. You haven't even bothered to write anything personal on this frog. That's just rude. I reject your frog. I'm gonna write on it. Dear Carla. Sorry for losing the book I borrowed. Uh. I realize that you are tough on toughness. As shown by your actions at Port Elizabeth, please accept my humblest apology. I promise to do better in the future. This is for you. Dear Carla, Ugh. It looks like you tried to include personal details, but then you got them wrong. You don't know me at all. I reject your frog. God damn it. This is annoying. I gotta try and remember what the... Dear Carla, sorry for losing the book I borrowed. I appreciate that you're keen on bluntness. As shown by your actions at Portobello, please accept my humblest apology. I promise to do better in the future. I could be here a while because I can't remember one. You. <laughs> Dear Carla, Ugh, it looks like you tried to include. Per you don't know me. I reject. I mean. <laughs> well, I've come for a recipe. A dish you served at a recent function, it's been described as hot and having ingredients in it. Ring any bells? I do host plenty of functions, but I'm afraid I don't have any idea what you're talking about. I should let you get back to governing. Yes, you should. Dear Carla, 
Sorry for losing the book I borrowed. I admire that you are hard on softness. As shown by your actions at Santo Domingo, please accept my humblest apology. I promise to do better in the future. This is for you. I might have to look up this because... Dear Carla... Ugh, it looks like you tried to include personal details, but then you got them wrong. You don't know me at all. I reject your frog. This is I have this few bits I need to do first, apparently. Governor Carla. She's dedicated to dedication. Dedicated to dedication. for losing the book I borrowed. I value that you are dedicated to dedication. All right, this doesn't matter. As shown by your actions at Port Elizabeth, please accept my humblest apology. I promise to do better in the future. Damn it, I almost had it. It was the only one I hadn't selected. <laughs> is for you. Dear Carla, this is a nice sentiment, and it looks like you even know something about me. One thing. You can do better. I reject your frog. What? Dear Carla, Sorry for losing the book I borrowed. I value that you are dedicated to dedication. As shown by your actions at Port Elizabeth, please accept my humblest apology. I've implemented a reminder system for myself. Okay, this is it. I don't. This is for you. Dear Carla. <laughs> This is a nice sentiment, and it looks like you even know something about me. One thing. You can do better. 
I reject your frog. What do you mean I can do better? 